Hey guys, long time no see. Uh, it's been a while. It's been about. Hmm. How long has it been? Two months. Oh, that's a two months moment right there. Wow. Well, I've been on hibernation. Uh, it's not quite. Winter's not quite over yet, but, you know. You'd have to wait a few more days till then, so might as well record now. So while I was gone, a lot of stuff happened. Uh, 2020. Also, this is kind of my first recording in 2020. I uploaded a video in 2020 already, but the video that I uploaded was recorded in 2019, so I don't really count that. So this is kind of the first 2020 video. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, 2010 was a big decade for me since, you know, I was born halfway through the 2000s, so I didn't really get to experience much of that, but a lot of stuff in my life happened in 2010. Uh, I went to school for the first time, met a lot of my friends, all that junk. Started gaming more, <laughs> which is big, big thing. Gamer moment. But, you know, it's 2000s now, and that's pretty cool. 2020, my bad. Not 2000s, that was a long time ago. Uh, 2020 now, which is pretty cool. But a lot of stuff happened, which I'm going to get to soon. Uh, as you can see in the background, I got the game Dreams, and I've been playing that for a, a while. Uh, it's pretty fun. As you might know, I played a little Big Planet a lot, and it was one of the first games I've ever played on PlayStation. So, Dreams coming out was like a really cool thing. So, I've been playing that. But, other than that, I've just been, you know, gaming. Uh, right now, uh, I'm gonna. 2020 started off with some World War III stuff. That was pretty, uh, not epic. Uh, I was actually, you know, I wasn't really scared for World War III, but I was kind of like thinking maybe it might happen. I don't know. Uh, I just saw it all over Twitter, so I was like, what the heck's going on? Uh, but also, after that, coronavirus happened. And just two days ago, it entered my city so that's pretty cool <laughs> uh, had to stack up on food I've gotta go through online courses now uh, which I kinda prefer over normal school for now uh, I probably won't like it if it stays like a year but it should be like only a couple weeks until this coronavirus stuff goes away uh, but I had to stock up on food cause stores are closing um, you know, all that toilet paper, hand sanitizer stuff, all disappearing. Gotta go stock up on that. Mm, yeah, uh, 2020 has been quite a ride so far. Um, I've been just chilling since I'm not uploading. But like I said before, I'm gonna start uploading after this video. Uh, pretty cool. Um, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna plan for the next few videos. I'm hoping sometime I'll have a collaboration with someone. I've been talking about that with someone, some other YouTuber. Uh, that would be pretty cool. So I've talked about all this 2020 stuff and about all the World War Three coronavirus stuff happening. Like I said before, 2020 has been pretty wild. Uh, 2010, as I said before, was like very big part of my life, and it was kind of like weird to see it go. Cause and like it's crazy to see how 2010 was like 10 years ago. That's when I first started school. And 
It's like time is like just like a not really a real thing. It's kind of like just man-made thing. Just like thinking of years going by, but it's kind of like it feels like a big thing. So yeah, I I watched the ball drop and stuff like that. I wasn't there, but I just watched it on like YouTube playing Skyrim. And it was just kind of like, wow, 2020. It's pretty wild. This also means I've been using YouTube for 10 years, almost 10 years. Uh, cause I started watching YouTube in 2010. I kind of wish I made my account back then, so I can have like a bit of an older account. So I made my account pretty late into YouTube, all the way in 2017. So like, you know, but I'm I'm pretty sure a lot of people would want to watch a five-year-old, like just like scream into the microphone. I know I wouldn't. Late 2012, early 2013 is when I really started it, getting into recording and stuff. But like I said, I didn't have a YouTube channel. I had a YouTube account, but not a channel. So that I so I would just record on my DS for no reason, just to have it there so I could show my friends. Uh, I would record like these zombie things because I was in the zombies, and I still kind of am now. Yeah, I would record me and my friends chasing each other as like zombies and it was pretty fun for me back then and I did that for like a year like a couple years actually I think up until like 2015 yeah I'm pretty sure 2015 maybe 2014 yeah. And I know I, I had a lot of fun doing it for some reason. Just according to me and my friends chasing each other on DS. And we made up like a little story about how the zombie apocalypse happened. Like some scientists release a disease. Like usual uh, zombie apocalypse stories. Very cliche. I'm glad I didn't upload them. And love it or hate it. In 2014, I became a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, pretty cringe now, but I kind of wish I went back to that time because I know I had fun watching freaking Gmod gameplays of like Five Nights at Freddy's characters, and, like SFMs, that type of stuff. And my favorite character was like Foxy. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, or in the Five Nights at Freddy's community up until, like, 2016, because that's when I started not liking it as much as I used to. Found out about Five Nights at Freddy's from a PewDiePie video. Uh, yeah. Pretty cringe, am I right? Another cringy fan base I was in in 2016 was the Undertale fan base. I joined it after Jacksepticeye started playing it. And I mostly just watched other YouTubers play it. I didn't really play it myself. I got it and played it a bit on when it came out for PS4. That's about it. Uh, not much to say about that fan base. Except that I still like the game, it's really cool. It's just I don't really like the fan base anymore, so I don't really say I'm in the fan base. And yeah. But one fan base I'm proud of being in was the Little Big Planet fan base. My phone is ringing right now. Uh, was the Little Big Planet fan base in 2011. Uh, one of the first PlayStation games I ever played. I met a lot of the friends, my friends on PlayStation, and I also made my first PlayStation friend on there. Uh, I, I I didn't know how to 
build in the game, but I was a very creative person, so I tried. I failed very badly uh, at creating stuff, but I tried. Uh, I mostly just played other people's levels. Pretty fun. Uh, Little Big Planet has a very fond place in my heart. I loved that game. Played it almost every day, and I couldn't shut up about it to my friends at school. Uh, yeah. Ever since Dreams came out, it was like very, very cool. Since you know, I loved Little Big Planet and stuff. It's made by the same people. It's basically the same except more complex. None of them like better with building and games. That Minecraft training. Um, I hope to make some pretty cool stuff. Like I said, it is pretty complex though. So I'm like watching tutorials and junk. Yeah. Um, this was my update video. Uh, happy late St. Patrick's Day. I'm recording this the day after St. Patrick's Day. And I'm probably going to upload it tomorrow, so happy two day late St. Patrick Day, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, potato, uh, corned beef, all that. Oh, goodbye.